In this Tobacco University video, we'll be looking at phenotype profiling related to cannabis. And again, phenotype is how something physically looks, it's morphology, how it looks to us uh, when it's growing as a plant. So that pheno hunting in general, uh, phenos types are based on physical or visual characteristics. This, it is important to remember that these traits can be influenced by the environmental conditions the plant is exposed to, so they can potentially change a plant's phenotype based on what environment it's growing. As a result, documentation is important for growing in general, but needs to include some extra details when it comes to being applied to the process of pheno hunting. Growers should be extra careful, um, take redundancies, take um, as many pictures, and document as many potential variables that they can to be able to allow that screening process to occur very efficiently. Now when you're going through and making that selection, well, the greater number of plants grown makes it easier to find the genetic standout. If you're growing two plants, it's going to be really hard to kind of pheno hunt. If you're growing 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, it's going to be much easier as you get more plants because then you can likely see one that might be a true genetic standout because the goal is to be able to recognize uh, the differences and the amount of plants that you have grown. This may be easy if you're looking for a taller plant or one with greater branching, but may be more challenging if you're looking at chemical profiles to be targeted. And again, that is going to be a form of pheno hunting, but might be a little bit more difficult because you can't just look out over a whole grove of plants and see, oh, one's genetically taller. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. One's maybe shorter, what I'm looking for. The chemical profiles still can be done, but a little bit more complicated. So the overall goal of pheno hunting in general is to select a few individual plants with the quote best traits and continue to grow and propagate these select few. And I put best in quotes because that's going to relate to what the grower is deeming desirable. You want to continue to select the best of the best by calling out or removing those plants that do not fit the intended breeding target. And again, that breeding target may vary based on different growers. So that phenotype selection process, well, the selection process will take time and does require long-term dedication and careful attention to detail. Taking clones from the selected phenotype is the first step. Growing these out and then making another selection process will reduce the total um, number of options. In this example, only physical characteristics are determined in the selection process. The final phenotype will, at least ideally, have the greatest amount of desirable plant habits or products or whatever kind of uh, traits the grower is looking for. The amount of generations this takes is up to the grower and refinement of the selected traits. Some might be done in a fewer generations, some might take more generations. This can be bred into another best of the best selection or grown out to increase the population of the selection um, particular phenotype. So again, it's important to keep in mind, we see here original phenotypes, we have a whole bunch listed. We have this first generation clones, and we have the second generation clones, and then we have the final phenotype. So here we can see the OG K5, we can trace that lineage back. That was one of the many they made to this first generation, second generation, also it was the final generation. However, I'll say this might be a little misleading simply because it will often take more than just two or three generations to really get that one unique kind of selection for a process. So um, just be mindful, know what you're looking for, importance of documentation so that you're uh, able to be efficient with your selection process as possible in hopes that you can get that final unique phenotype you might be looking for.